In this video, I started out with zero dollars on a truck and spent the last three years building the farm to where it is today. So we're back again for season four to see if I can expand the farm even more. But there's a twist. I took out a quarter of a million dollar loan. Will I go broke and have to sell everything or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and drop in the like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farm. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the farm. It's hot, it's sunny, and a good day to get some work done. Anyways, we've got $76,000 in the bank account here, just over that actually, and it's going to be a busy day. So I have our feed mixer in the back of the truck here. Uh, reason why is we're going to be getting rid of it. In fact, today we're going to be getting rid of a bunch of equipment that we're not going to be needing to make room for some new stuff. Now, since it's summer, we don't really need a feed mixer right now. So later in the year, we're probably going to grab a new one. This one is just way too small for how many cows we have to feed in the winter. So uh, yeah, it's time for something a little bit bigger. And it is sure as heck making the truck squad. Holy smokes. Anyways, we're going to be grabbing these gravity wagons as well. These are going and getting traded in because, well, really, we don't need them because we're going to be getting something just a little bit better. We already dropped off a combine a couple days ago. We still have a couple more things in the shed that we're going to drop off as well. But really, it's all just getting traded in. And we also have to find a sprayer so we can get rid of all these weeds in the field. I think I've got a connection for that as well. And here we are, my favorite place to be, the used equipment store. Okay, everything's unloaded, and I will be back for you later on. Okay, I gotta go through and do a quick check of what else we're getting rid of here. Let me take a look. So I could get rid of this planter, but uh, really, it kind of works for what we need. We only really have one field we need it for, and that's the cornfield. So yeah, we'll probably just keep it this year. Failers are good. Yeah, and I think it's just the cedar, I guess. Oh, it's a little bit dirty. I didn't think I put it away dirty, but maybe I did. Okay, so as it turns out, I've actually got to move some stuff if I want to get uh, the other cedar out. So out goes the planter, I guess. There, now we're clear. Quick spray down and this thing should be good to go. Okay, so I kind of forgot I had some seed and fertilizer left in that thing, so I got it taken out, put into some totes here. Not a whole lot left, but I mean, may as well keep it around. That stuff is not cheap to buy. Okay, last piece, that'll do it. Okay, so here's the deal. So trading in the cedar, the gravity wagons, the small feed mixer, and the old combine here, we're winding up with about a $50,000 bill, which is a lot of money. However, it'd be a lot more if we weren't trading in anything. So in turn for the $50,000 in the trade-in, we're getting this combine, this grain truck, which is why we don't need the gravity wagons anymore, and this whole flipping chopper set up. Now I just got to figure out how we're going to get this home after I get this all paid for. And $50,000 down the drain. Oh, that hurt. That was expensive. Okay, so I got a buddy that's gonna follow me back in my truck. I'm gonna go run this chopper home. This thing's really fancy, actually. Probably one of the more fancier pieces of equipment we've ever owned. And price-wise, very expensive. If we didn't have all that equipment to trade in, yeah, we wouldn't be affording all this. However, it should drastically help with uh, cutting down on feed costs and all that good stuff. So normally I would have took this to the cattle farm, but since I need to get it all looked over and make sure everything's good, it's going to the main farm. For some maintenance now we still got a couple more months before we actually have to use it but hopefully sooner than later we can get to chopping this i'm actually really excited to use all right we made it back which piece of equipment are we gonna take next uh we'll go run the combine home i guess so this is pretty similar to the one we just traded in over there but it is a heck of a lot bigger model more power better tires lower hours just all around a better combine and i think it's got a little bit of a higher road speed which is nice ain't gonna take us so long to get home and by high road speed i think uh we're gonna get home in an hour and a half instead of two hours so not much of a difference there okay back again this time it's for the mac look how clean and fancy this thing is i should have bought one of these a long time ago oh we're gonna be able to haul so much grain so much quicker now instead of running those dang gravity wagons those were always the biggest pain in the butt. You know, if I had an extra hand, I could just buy a green cart and we could probably make it a lot faster, but uh, kind of just doing this by myself. So it doesn't really make sense. But that's where silage is going to be a big pain in the butt. That's really going to suck. I haven't even got that figured out yet. Well, $50,000 spent well, I'd say. That took up actually a good portion of my day. And of course, I had to combine right where I need to get the tractor out. I don't even know if this thing's gonna fit inside the shop we even check that i didn't not measure the uh header here so i guess we're gonna check that here real quick i'm just gonna try to do a quick equipment shuffle to make this a little more organized oh yeah we're oh maybe, yeah ah we're good by a long shot 
And since this is probably not coming out of storage for a little while, we're just going to put it right in the back while we do some maintenance on it. Biggest combine we bought in yet. With all those extra acres, we were definitely not going to be doing it all with that small one. That would have really sucked. So, well, we got the time here. We're just going to get all the hang equipment moved out because we got to make room for the massive cedar since uh, it doesn't really need to be used anymore this year we just got to get it all maintenance up and put away but the hang equipment we still have one more cut of hay so this has to stay out for a little while longer i think i got so busy with hang i forgot to wash the flipping cedar i don't know how i forgot but it is absolutely filthy i forgot to wash it and it's got to get backed into the shop there but we do have to detach a couple things because my backing up skills ain't gonna be getting all that in in one shot so luckily the tank can disconnect and so can the draw bar or cedar bar, I guess, Wh whatever you call it. Now, normally we'd be moving all this with the big tractor, but since we're literally just moving it and not actually doing any seating, fine to just be done with the small tractor unless this one for some reason can't tow it properly. I don't know what's going on with it. We'll make it work. Check it out. We got it. Big pain in the butt, but we did get it. Good thing though, we're not actually going to have to unhook it when it comes to pulling it out of here because it'll just be pulled straight out the door. And would you look at that? I forgot to wash something else. Honestly, I forgot I had this tractor though. I have not used this thing in a minute. Well, did it take absolutely forever? Yes. Would I ever want to do it again? Probably not. Am I going to ever have to do it again? You bet. But what we need packed away is now packed away and I am a heck of a lot happier. Everything's nice and neat, organized. And what we're going to have to get out is pretty easy to move around at this point. Anyways, I've got the 4455 out here because we got to go do some spraying. And in order to do that, we got to go get ourselves a sprayer. And I figured this was going to be the best tractor for the job, considering it's low compression tracks and it has a pretty decent air conditioner in it. It's a hot day. I don't want to be in a tractor without good air conditioning. It is also very fast. You know, now that I think about it, a tractor with low compression tracks pushing up silage, not the best deal, but it's the only tractor with a blade. So I'm just on the way back from my buddy's farm here. I got a sprayer. This is rented. He's charging me $1,000 to use it for the, what, hour or two we need it for? And yeah, it seems a little steep, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, buying a sprayer right now is near impossible. I can't find anything decent on the market. Even something like this is going to cost me like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 because it's a fairly new sprayer. I think this is new from last year, so even if you're lucky enough to find one, you're still paying a lot of money. Okay, so I have some spray from last year that we're going to grab here. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but we'll give it a shot. I know a place in town where we can go grab some, but this stuff is expensive, so we're going to use what we have for now. I'm talking like over five grand a crate, so we'll see how long this lasts. I guess we're probably going to have to go get more. All right, yeah, that was uh, 9%, so we're going to see on the small field how long this lasts. Probably not long at all, but it's worth a shot. Anyway, it's been a minute since I ran a sprayer. I don't know how this is going to go. All right, we're moving. Okay, it's not depleting too fast, so it should do this field and maybe a little bit of the next one. Who knows? Well, we did one headland pass here, and we're doing... It looks about two across. That's how quickly this gets done. Never mind, three across. All right, just coming up on the last pass here. We're down to 1%, so we're going to fold this sucker up run into town and grab some more spray shortcut in the dually i'm not even sure if uh one pallet's gonna do it we may need two i'll try calculate it out a little bit forty eight hundred dollars and looks like we need two pallets one expensive truckload right here i'm not even sure this is gonna be enough well let's hope the old skid steer can actually uh make it back there grab these pallets oh dang i forgot how heavy this was we can manage though see this is what i was worried about here i don't have a whole lot more room and I can't grab the pallet. We're just going to slide it onto the forks there. We got it, baby. All right, let's get this sprayer loaded up. Okay, so two full tanks is going to give it roughly 90%. I think something like that. Yep, 89%. Okay, well, let's go and see how long this lasts. We're going to do the close field here. So just finishing out this little field here got us to about 80%, 82%, something like that. So we should be okay to finish off this big field here. We are just cruising down here. This is awesome. Hold up, hold up. I gotta stop being a piece of a log here. Gotta toss it out this way. The combine would not have been a fan of that one. So better to get rid of it now than later. You know, I'm really hoping there's about $200,000 worth of uh, crops out here because if there's not, we're gonna be a little short on cash and we're gonna have to sell some stuff and I am not a fan of doing that. Unless I replace it with new stuff. That's, that's my only exception. But if I can in the future, definitely buying a sprayer like this would be awesome. They're just really expensive to justify doing it right now. Well, I was just cruising on the last pass here. I'm just about done, but there's a tree over here. So oh, gotta get her out of there. But the field's looking good. Nearly finished to go check how much we got in the tank there. All right, 
I don't think we could have got everything done with one pallet maybe maybe pretty close but yeah if we need to spray again we'll just uh use what's left in here but i do have to wash this before i return it because it is absolutely filthy however this thing did work amazing pretty happy about that well i ended up getting some of the seed cleaned up there got skid steer put away just giving this thing a quick bath before it has to go back and the milk truck should be showing up any minute now so we're gonna go run this thing back by the time we get back they should be loading up sure enough check it out they're here Anyway, while he's filling up, I am going to go check everything on the cows, make sure they're good. Actually, they need a bale, so we're going to go slap one in there. Fire up the old 4020. There we go. All right, cows, I'm going to open up this gate. No escaping now. Just going to give you a nice big bale. Well, it looks like they're good on everything else. Uh, there's quite a bit of liquid fertilizer piling up, so I'm hoping we'll be good till after harvest. Ooh, smack that gate. Anyways, hoping we'll be good till after harvest so we can go spread that on the fields. Some fall manure spreading. Could be a good time. But yeah, hopefully it's good till then. And then we'll get an extra good yield. Because we did that on some of the fields last year and excited to see how much better they yield this year. Well, I got paid for the milk. $2,013. Not going to complain about that. Anyways, when we get a chance here after uh, hang the second cut, we're going to put some of the equipment in here, make sure there's enough space to, you know, get whatever we need to do done in here, but at least it's another spot to store some stuff. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.